So for the past three days, we have been talking about the slap that was heard around the world. Yes, we've been talking about Will Smith slapping the taste out of Chris Rock's mouth on Sunday night at the Oscars. There has been varying opinions flying all across social media. You guys have been tuning in to my thoughts and my opinions, and you've been tuning in to me exposing some celebrities that have tried to place themselves on a high moral ground when they can do no such thing. In the end, my thoughts are Chris Rock was wrong for taking an opportunity to yet again disrespect and denigrate Jada Pinkett Smith under the guise of comedy. Will Smith was wrong for jumping up on that stage and slapping the taste out of his mouth. However, I can understand why Will Smith did it. We've all been waiting. Will Smith came out with a statement. He offered his apologies to everybody, including Chris Rock. And we've all been eagerly waiting for Chris Rock to put out a statement. And he hasn't until now. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode with your host, Tabitha. Here is where we have some straightforward discussions on political and social news, television show recaps, and of course, everyone's favorite, celebrity gossip. These discussions are to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surround our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode. I am your host, Tabitha, and we are here. Chris Rock has finally spoken about the situation. Before we get into it, let me welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you've come across this video and are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. We talk about a plethora of things over here. Well, no, we don't really. We used to. YouTube stopped that. Uh, But we talk celebrity gossip and we talk some of my favorite reality TV shows. Right now we're talking about Love and Marriage Huntsville and celebrity gossip wise, we getting ready to talk about this statement that Chris Rock has put out. Chris Rock is currently on tour. First, let me just tell you, everybody that's feeling sorry for Chris Rock and Oh my God, Chris Rock, is he okay? Da 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 da. There's a reason why Chris Rock has not said anything. Because he is on tour. And he's hoping by him not saying anything, people will buy tickets to his show and put money in his pockets in the hopes of hearing him say, Something about the incident. And it's working. His shows are selling out all across the country. Here in Atlanta, he had one show. It sold out. He added a second show. And I ain't mad at Chris. I see what he's doing. I see the tactic. Get your reparations, Chris. Make that money. Okay? Chris Rock is doing just fine. I promise you. Anywho, like I said, he is on tour. And so he had a, 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 a show earlier. And he did make a statement at that show. And Love B. Scott has got the tea on what he said at that show. And it ain't much, y'all. It ain't much. Let me read 
to you what B. Scott has put out there. Chris Rock has broken his silence amid the ongoing controversy stemming from Sunday night's Oscars ceremony. During his comedy show in Boston on Today, Chris addressed the incident for the first time. This is what he said, quote, he greeted the audience at Boston's Wilbur Theater with two back-to-back standing ovations lasting several minutes. Here we go. Quote, let me be all misty and ish, Rock said with tears in his eyes, gesturing to the crowd's warm response. How was your weekend? He asked, to which the audience responded with laughter. Here's his statement. I don't have a bunch of ish to say about that. So if you came here for that, he paused and then continued. I had written a whole show before this weekend. I'm still processing what happened. So at some point, I'll talk about that ish. It'll be serious. It'll be funny. But right now, I'm going to tell some jokes. End quote. That was Chris Rock's statement on the situation. And let me tell you, Chris Rock is not going to say anything unless there is a big payment attached to it. When the check is big enough, Chris Rock will tell us what he's thinking in regards to what happened at the Oscars, whether it's going to be a Netflix comedy special Who knows whether it's going to be a interview with one of the biggest interviewers out there, Oprah Winfrey, let's just say. If there's a check big enough attached to wanting to hear Chris Rock's side of the story, that's when we'll hear his side of the story. And I ain't mad at him. Listen, it's like I said to me. Both of them were in the wrong. But my stance on this situation was I was sick and tired. I I, I saw what was going to happen. I saw that white America was going to step up and demonize Will Smith. And I was not having it. Will Smith slapped the ish out of Chris Rock for saying a disrespectful and denigrating joke about his wife who's dealing with a medical condition. Okay? So you, you're not going to dem- demonize Will Smith. And let me tell you something. All of you black people that participate in respectability um, politics, that care about what white people think about black people, I don't participate in that shit at all. I don't care what... Black people think about me. So I damn sure don't care what white people think about me. Let me tell you something. Katanji Brown Jackson is the epitome of success, poise, and class. And those white people took every opportunity to try to bring her down and denigrate and disrespect her on a global platform, that right there should tell you they don't care about how many degrees you have. They don't care how much money you make. They don't care how classy you behave. You are still an N-word to them. And in order to be included in their space, you have to be subjected to their disrespect. I don't sign up for that shit. Hell no. If I'm not going to accept it from white people being disrespected and denigrated, I'm damn sure not going to accept it from black people. Chris Rock was wrong. Chris Rock knows the importance of a black woman's hair. He's done a whole documentary about it. And on that note, I still support Chris Rock and I still support Will Smith. But you will not demonize Will Smith for standing up and protecting his wife, 
for a lot of you, I want to ask the question. Are you not used to someone standing up and protecting you? If you're not used to someone standing up and protecting you, then say that. Say that. Men, you're not used to standing up and protecting your woman from being disrespected? If you're not used to doing that, then say that. But don't demonize Will Smith for doing what he felt he needed to do to protect his wife. And, and, and it ain't got nothing to do with what Jada was doing with August Alcina. Has nothing to do with that. It has to do with Will Smith, Jada Pickett Smith, sitting at the Oscars, and Chris Rock crossed the line with that joke. That's all that matters right there. I ain't mad at you, bruh, Chris Rock. Keep those zips, those lips sealed until you get the sizable check that you desire to tell your side of the story. I do have an update. The Academy is looking into um, consequences for Will Smith. It is now being reported that the Academy asked him to leave the Oscars. He refused to do so. And now they're looking into consequences, punishment. He could be looking at expulsion from the Oscars or temporary suspension, that type of thing. I'm going to tell you, if they take that Oscar that he won, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Because if you're going to take his Oscar for bad conduct, then you got a whole list of folks that are recipients of Oscars that have displayed inappropriate behavior. Harvey Weinstein, Woody Allen, the list goes on. So it's going to be interesting what type of punishment the Academy serves Will Smith. There has to be a consequence. There has to be. Chris Rock said something out of line. His consequence was getting the, getting the taste slapped out of his mouth. Will Smith slapped the taste out of his mouth. There has to be a consequence. But they better make it fair and they better make it just. Or it's going to be a problem because black Twitter been going in, baby. Black Twitter has been going in. Every celebrity that has come out to try to demonize Will Smith, baby, Black Twitter went to pulling the receipts. You think I put out some receipts? No, <laughs> what I put out does not compare to Black Twitter. And y'all know how Black Twitter rolls. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's going to be a problem if they take that Oscar. Y'all get down in the comments and y'all let me know your thoughts, baby. And I'm telling you, you better watch your mouth. Don't get slick because I will block you. I blocked 100 people on Instagram today. One, for trying to demonize a black man. And two, if you're white and trying to chime in on this subject, I ain't trying to hear it. I told you I ain't trying to hear it. I blocked you for it. So, when you get down in the comments, mind what you type and watch your tone. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to The Conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves and each other. And each other.